So hey, 5.38, we started this last time. This is a bit of a review, okay? So we had a slope-intercept form. We're talking about what slope-intercept form is. We're talking about the different parts of it. Once again, this is a review from last time. So we said, okay, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, y and x are points and variables, m is a slope, and b is the y-intercept, which is where it crosses the y-axis. And then we worked on identifying slope and y-intercept. We said, okay, in these different equations, where were these? You guys should have this in your notes, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Here's the game. Split. Okay. So, um, we brought out Hoy again of Hoy bucks. Okay, and then we wrote this down, right? Or we wrote the first part down at least? Yeah, we just wrote the equation down for the first part. Like that? Okay. So, Write an equation in slope-intercept form. Find the slope with y-intercept, plug it in for m and b. So write the equation of a line with these different things. So what this means is we have this part written down here that I just kind of bracketed it. And what this means is we're going to write this in slope-intercept form. What does slope-intercept form look like? Very good. y equals mx plus b, okay? So what we're going to do is we want our y and our x to stay the same. Because just like on the last slide, all these different equations still have the, the y and the x. We're going to want this equation to still have a y and x. And so we're going to plug in the m and b. And so if we write an equation with the slope of 2 and the y-intercept of 5, what is slope? What variable is slope? M. M is the variable for slope. So m is equal to what? 2. M is equal to 2. How do we know it's equal to 2 here, Josh? You have said the slope is 2, and M is slope, okay? Y-intercept, what variable is Y-intercept? B. So B is equal to 5. So if we're writing this equation, we're going to take this, and we're going to substitute in 2 and 5. So we're going to have Y is equal to 2X plus 5. And we did it. We wrote an equation in slope intercept form. We wrote an equation in slope intercept form. Y is equal to 2x plus 5. Questions on that? I want you guys to do the second one on this. With the slope of 1 third and the y intercept of negative 7. Go ahead and do that second one on there. Yes, Emily. Yeah. I know. Did that. I have like three pairs, so <laughs> I have like four Peasants. pairs, so <laughs> 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 no pairs. Yeah, so I have like four pairs. Yeah, like three pairs. Voice it back off, please. Voice back off, okay? Hey, can I get a volunteer to tell me what they have for this one? Okay, uh, Hannah. Um, why? Very good. Hannah did a good job of making sure this was a negative 7 because it's a negative 7, y intercept. So you didn't put minus 7 or plus a negative 7. Either way, it would be okay. So you can put minus 7 or plus a negative 7. Questions on that one or why that is the way it is? Okay, continuing on. Um, let's practice this bottom one, okay? We're not going to do the top one. Let's practice this bottom one. Same thing you just did. With these, with the slope of this line set. Okay, so we're gonna do that first. Okay. So hands up if you want to help me with this one. Okay. Um, you're going to 
great stuff. Y equals negative two x plus zero. Do we need the plus zero even? No. So we could even just have this, right? Be what happens when we add zero? It kind of drops off, okay? So if you don't have anything on there, then it, you know the y-intercept is zero because we're adding zero to it, okay? Good job. Okay. Questions on this one? Okay. Slap on the back. Okay. Yeah, slap on the back for you guys. I can see how to tell you. Okay. Um. We're going to practice changing these equations into slope intercept form. Someone again, remind me what slope intercept form is. Okay? Uh, Peyton, what was Very good. Y equals mx plus b. So we need these equations to be in slope intercept form. We need these equations to be in the form of y equals mx plus b. So we need to try our best to get it there, okay? Well, hmm. What do we need to do if we're solving for y? We need to get y by itself, so we think we're solving for y. So instead of solving for x, we're going to solve for y, because that's a variable we want by itself. So what would be our first step here? If you guys recall, this is like solving for a variable we did before. We did this in earlier chapters. We just multiplied it, so we're going to do it now. Yes? You would divide by 2 first. Because we don't know what y is. Like for our slope intercept form? Yeah, like we put. Like we this? Put, yeah. What? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we put the x with the 2, so why can't I take the 2? Um, because we need our y to be by itself. So for slope intercept form, we need the y to be by itself. Because if it's not by itself, then we don't have our actual slope here, and we don't have our actual y intercept here. So we need the slope by, the y by itself. So we actually don't want to divide first. Let's think about it this way. What if we had What if you had it like this? What would you do first? Subtract the 8. So we want to move the term that's being added away. So what term is being added to the 2y? 4x. We want to move 4x. So how are we going to move 4x? We're going to subtract by 4x, okay? And can we subtract 8 and 4x? No. no, but can we write negative 4x plus 8? Can we write that? Be very careful. We have a negative. I took the negative with it. Because for slope intercept form, we want the x first. That's why. Good question. And Graydon asked, hey, why wouldn't we just put the x after the 8, like 8 minus 4x? That might seem easier. Well, for slope intercept form, we want the x to be with the m first, and then what's the b to follow it? No, it's not as easy to identify. Slope intercept form. 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 So now, what's our last step? And uh, I and solving for y here, Christian. Okay, well, how would you simplify it? If you're solving for y, you would divide by two. Two. Two is being multiplied with it. Two y divided by y, or two y divided by two. Excuse me, it's y. And here we have to divide this whole thing by two. The whole thing by two. Oh. So we say, okay, what's negative 4x divided by 2? Negative 2x, and what is 8 divided by 2? Positive 4. So this is our slope intercept form. We have y equals mx plus b. We now have it in slope intercept form. Questions on that one? Remember to do the next one, too. Okay. Um, Go ahead and start doing this next one on your own, yeah. Okay, so same thing, and we have this example up here that you can kind of follow.
I know. Give me one second. There you go. <laughs> I hope things go well. Yeah, I hope. Oh, that's the slope. That's 
the intercept. When it's like this, can you easily like, say what the slope is and what the intercept is? No. So that's why we want it in slope intercept form. It's going to be easier for us to identify them and later graph them. Does that make more sense? Is that your only question? Okay. I'll help you with this. Okay. So we're going to write an equation from a graph. Okay. So I want everybody to follow along here. Okay. So we're going to write an equation from a graph. So we'll have a graph and we need to write an equation. So we need to find the slope, find the y-intercept, and then use y equals mx plus b, our slope intercept form, and substitute it in for m and b. So it's kind of like we just did two slides ago where we were given the slope and y-intercept, this time we have to find the slope and y-intercept. So if we're given a graph, how can you find slope on a graph? Justin? Rise over run. Rise over run, okay? So if we pick two points, maybe I pick this point, I rise how many? Two. Or I'll pick this point and this point. I run how many? So the slope is two over one, which is just be two. Y-intercept, that's where it crosses the y-axis. Yes, Hannah, it would be 1. It crosses this y-axis at 1. So y-intercept would be 1. So the slope is 2, y-intercept is 1. Who can tell me what the equation would be then? Hannah? Very good. So we take the slope, we take the y-intercept that we have from these, and we just say, oh, that's our equation now. Questions on that? Okay. Let's try this one. So I want you guys to um, not to sketch the graph, but to write these three parts down the slope, y intercept equation. And I want you guys to figure out what the slope would be here what the y-intercept would be here, and write your equation. Okay, who has the slope? Who has the slope one? Okay, green wants the slope. What kind of one over three? Okay, one over negative three would just be the same thing as negative one over three, or if the negative's out in front, correct? Okay, because you say, you say we either go down one and over three, or vice versa, plus one, less three. Okay, what's their y intercept? Peyton. Four, very good. That's where it crosses the y-axis. And that makes our equation what? Makes our equation y equals Peyton. Negative one third x plus four. Okay. Hey, there is a homework assignment today. So okay. Pay attention. Okay. Um, sorry if you guys are a minute late. I really am sorry about that. Um, pay attention up here though. Okay. So there are two pages stapled together. We're not doing the first page, the first front and back for tomorrow. We're only going to do the second front and back for tomorrow. And on top of that, I'm shortening it further, okay? Do not cross any of these out, though. Do not cross any of these out. Wait, we're doing the front and the back? Okay. So, hey, if everyone looks up here, okay? So, we have this, 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 and this, right? Yeah. Okay? So, ignore the first two pages for now. We'll get to those later. Do not throw them away. Don't cross them out. This back page, only the odds. Front and back, all the odds. Yes. Totally Front and back of the second page, third, fourth page, or whatever. Okay, this page, odds only. Odds only on that page. Okay? Odds only 
on that on these two pages. You guys are going to second period today. Thank you for hanging out there for a little bit. I want to go to Howard. Do we what? Do we have it on Wednesday right now? On Wednesday. Okay, on Wednesday I have hosts, so I won't be here. Oh, the blood drive?